Welcome to IWE Battlezone TV. I am Axel Gear, joined alongside by Scrappy. How are you doing tonight? I am doing amazing, and boy, we got an action-packed episode here for you. We've got Cody Leedy uh, versus Trevor Stroud for the Gladiator title. John Campbell will be here. We got a whole lot going on, but we just need to get to uh, the ring all right here, right now. Take her away, Joe. It's not Joe. I forgot that player one, Derek Crow, has got some time to set aside. Well, that's what started tonight. What? Derek Crow here for the Crow's Nest. Being followed shortly there behind by the ever mysterious, and I suppose is the best word for it, Amicus. Player one already getting into the, the, the crowd here. We've, we haven't been back that long, but Crow has not lost any form. True to form, doing his thing. He is Mr. IWE. And don't you forget it. I shan't forget it. He has made very, very sure that I know who he is. A Amicus now. Well, Amicus took the mic from Joe here. What do we got the mic going? away from Joe. Oh, I'm curious what we got here. Meanwhile, IWE country letting themselves make their voices heard to Derek Crow. Constant reminders of player two chant. Well, let's hear what he's got to say, man. Show this man some respect. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Crow's Nest. And how fitting is it that the face you see first is the future of this company? I don't know about future. And that's fine. Uh, he's Mr. IWE. He's, he's a past, future, and present. Be anywhere close to as good as I am. So let me all remind you that when this microphone is in my hands, you people shut your stupid mouths. Tell him, Derek. Tell him. Tell him, fan base. They're not having any of it. Ah, oh, come on, Derek. Bro. They need to show the guy with some respect. When he's talking, they need to be quiet. He can show a little respect now, himself. I didn't have to think too long and too hard about who my first guest ever on the Crow's Nest is going to be. In fact, he made his debut the last time we were here against me. And I want to bring him out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to DJ Edwards. DJ Edwards, who had a fantastic showing Last time he was here. He okay. did. He doesn't look ready to compete, though. He's not here dressed for a wrestling match. He's not here for a wrestling match. He's here to be interviewed for the Crow's Nest. Yeah, he's looking rough, rough. He is. Just, I mean, he's favoring his back, and he's having troubles getting in here, but we'll find out what's going on here. It's been a rough patch of time. Hey, 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 look, look, first things first, 
I want to put your mind at rest. You are my guest, so I am not going to do anything. I'm not going to attack you. I'm not going to jump you. No, nope, neither is Amicus. Neither one of us. I'm a very trustworthy person. Uh, I have contradicting information. You don't think so? I witness other. Now look, now look. I wanted to introduce you to the people because you didn't get a proper introduction last time you were here. See, DJ and I actually go way back. In other places, we have fought against each other, and more importantly, you and I have teamed up before in the past. In fact, we were very successful as a team in the past in some other places. Now, things are gonna change around here. And by that I mean, I'm about to go to the very tippy top of the mountain around here. I am the only true star in this company. And you see, that can rub people the wrong way. People tend to get jealous. And the smart thing to do is to have somebody who has your back. And Amicus and I were both very impressed by what you did in the ring against me. You sure you didn't beat me? Not many people do. But true. I think that if you and I came to some sort of agreement, some sort of partnership, if you have my back, I can help you get to, well, not the tippy top, because that's for me. Yeah, yeah exactly. You can have a little bit of my shine when I'm at the top. I'll have, I'll have the most shine because I'm player one, but I can't think of anybody better suited to be my player two than you, DJ. So look. I, it sounds like a good deal to me. I mean, I, I don't know. Stupid people, and you can hold a grudge about me beating you, and we can drag the thing out, and I can beat you over and over again, and it'll just be, it'll just be a bad time. Or you can shake my hand and we can walk out of here as a team and pretty much run this whole company. You don't want to listen to them. They're nobodies. They're not important. That's not to be a country you're talking enough about. To play my game. But you, DJ, I see a lot of potential in you and I've known you long enough to know how good you really are. And I know that you're not medically cleared today. That's why I'm not going to do anything cuz I am I'm I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not the kind of guy to jump somebody when they're hurt. That's just rude. That's something they would do. Not something player one would do. I wonder how John Campbell feels about that. So uh, now what I'm going to do yeah, yeah, is You know, John Campbell is right a whole other story. And hopefully you will make the right decision. It is definitely true that these two have been a team in other places. Well, hey, why not work together so, here? Pretty much you want me to be the player two. I'm sure to many that is why a tempting not? offer. Why not? I mean, well, who else do I have here? All right. See? See? Cool. Perfect. It's a right. logic. A little accepting bit of logic. The offer? Yeah. Why wouldn't he? I mean, Derek Crow, uh, Mr. IWE, I mean, he's really at the top of the food chain here. And why wouldn't you want to team up with this guy? I mean, they've worked together in the past. Uh oh! He may not be clear to wrestle, uh. but he can sure send a message. Player two to no one. What? DJ Edwards. That was a cheap shot. Cheap shot. For one, as, as underhanded as Derek Crow, a cheap shot is exactly what he deserves. Yeah. Good for him. Fully medically cleared. And there's no way on any planet am I going to be your number two. Oh. I get Look, I might not be able to go tonight, but I got someone that you know that can go for me. Say hi to Mr. Weston for me. Uh -oh. What? Uh-oh. What? Oh. Oh. Dave Weston. Jumps him from behind, taking full advantage of the fact that Derek Crow didn't expect him to be there, and we've got oh melee my goodness. right on the concrete floor. There is no padding out here. 
we haven't even gotten to the ring yet. The, is this a match? What's going on here? They are both dressed to wrestle, and maybe I, that's something DJ saw coming. He must DJ have. wasn't dressed to wrestle, but he might have seen that Rick, that Derek Crow was. There, there, we're going in the ring. We're, we need a ref out here. Derek Crow is in the ring. Dave Weston is in the ring. We need a ref if we're having a match, but this isn't right. Look at Derek Crow. See, yeah, we can't have a match without a referee. This was supposed to be the Crow's Nest, not a scheduled match. Oh. But I don't think that's going to stop anybody. We may need a referee or this is going to come to any sort of conclusion. Oh. oh. Can I get a different referee, please? Well, Dan we'll take, Tanner. We'll take any referee we can get, and I'll take this referee if we're going to. Oh. got to separate these guys. Come on. Do your job, ref. There you go. Good job, Tanner. Is this actually a match? We do have a referee. We got is a ref. Gonna, is he going to split the ring? this up? It's about gonna... to happen. Ring the bell. This is an official match, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> David Wesson versus Derek Crow. What a way to start the new look IWE. Holy cow. No kidding. Pure chaos. And that's what happens, Mr. Weston. You come in from behind, and, you know, when we face to face, you can't do that stuff. And Derek Crow taking full advantage. Snapmare takeover. Derek Crow now. Strike right to the spine of Dave Weston. And then one to the chest for good measure. Derek Crow hitting strong and hard early on. Dave Weston tried coming at him like a house of fire. And all it took for Derek Crow to get back in control of this was a couple well-placed, very strong shots. It's overwhelmed David Weston here. Oh, Ooh. open face chop. Nasty, oh, that forearm. And another one, lighten up the chest of the little one here. Oh, goodness. I love the vicious side of Derek Crow. I, I oh. Weston down in the corner and he doesn't know what hit him. Derek Crow. Maybe lining up for something devastating unless Dave Weston could do something get out of the way. Oh, basement drop kick. Um, yeah, well. You may need to go lower than the basement to accurately describe that one. Well, I mean, young Weston's probably not ready for kids right now anyway. Certainly won't be anytime soon. If Dave Weston's going to have something happen here, he's going to get back in this match fast. Well, see, he jumped Derek Crow from the get, so he should have finished him off quick. Now he's got a problem on his hands. Like I said, he came at him house of fire. And now he's trying to fight back. There's still some fight. He's trying to, wow, he's trying to suplex Mr. IWE right out over the top rope to the outside. But Derek oh. Crow too much. Player one brings him in the hard way. Yeah, that's how you do it. Tell him, tell him Crow, tell him. Who's the man in this place? Player one. This was not what Derrick Crow was expecting. I know, and he's still handling business. He is handling it well so far. A very, very arrogant pin. That's that's to get in the mind. Those are mind games right there. It's the not, mind games, you play them too long, though, and you give your opponent enough time to recuperate and fight back. Yes, but Crow's played this game before, and uh, keeping in mind, we keeps still on, have, he keeps on winning. Keeping in mind, we still have Amicus over here on the outside. Derek Crow now into an armbar, but you know, Amicus, almost like he's pulling the strings from the outside. It's a vicious, vicious, vicious armbar. He's got it pulled in deep, and now Derek Crow reached in for Amicus's arm, adding extra leverage. I would love it if the referee would see this and do something about it to stop it, because it's absolutely not allowed. Then again, I gotta remember this is Dan Tanner, even if he did see it. One of the finest uh, referees IWE has to offer. Define fine. Finest in the sense that he only really looks at the little stuff because he certainly doesn't catch everything that happens right before his face. Weston fighting Derek back Crow. here, trying to trying get out to of there. Oh, Ooh, how did he got get... him in a hot, like a double, oh. kick, double no, second drop kick. Yeah, like Takes a... down Derek Crow into a pin now. And what is Dan Tanner doing? He's counting. Almost to a two. Now his arm twitched like it might have been a three. But Dave Weston's it. starting to realize just the challenge that he's up against. Well, yeah, he's in the ring with player one. 
He's okay. also in there with a corrupt referee. Oh! Cru wow! That nasty arm breaker. That it was. Ugh, that'll disjoint that elbow and the shoulder. Dave Weston could be in some serious trouble after that. There's a reason why we call it blinding pain. Mm -hmm. That's uh. It can make you completely ugh. unaware of what's going on outside of ugh. the area that hurts. And the tactician that uh, that is Derek Crow. I mean, he's just going after that. Oh, this is vicious. It smells it like blood in the water. Oh, Absolutely. Gosh, that's so I win nasty. every time I see that move. That is so nasty. Oh, that is so vicious. Derek Crow in solid control here. If David Weston's going to make anything happen, he's got to do it now. Oh, he doesn't have a limb to do it with right now. He's just getting his arms all yanked off of here. here go. Ugh. Oh, arm wrench, arm breaker. Second one over the shoulder of Derek Crow. And another arm breaker. I don't know how that thing's still in the socket. I it mean, might not be. I don't know how that thing's still in the socket. That's some vicious stuff right there. Weston may or may not be trying to put weight on it to to see how well he can use it. Well, he's probably he's trying to pop that thing back into place. I mean, that, that's a big part of it. You gotta put some pressure on there. It's hard to tell if he's even able to put weight on it. He's not, he's holding it. He's, it's like a dead arm the way it's hanging there. Look at Derek that. Crow. And, and Crow with the knees. Oh. With Weston as his play thing now. Oh my goodness, ripped the shoulder out of the socket. He's taking that arm home with him, it looks like today. I mean, he is all over him. One of the more technically sound wrestlers we have here in uh, IWE is Derek Crow, and he is just systematically tearing he's got, apart. He's got Weston in a stranglehold. String, like strangle sleeper, but that said, Weston finding it in to fight back. Oh, oh my goodness. Double, double cross. cross body. Oh, man, that hurt me from over here. God, I can feel the air getting blasted out of both of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the look on Crow's face. I mean, he's using the rope to hold himself up. I mean, that knocked the wind out of him big time. Weston back to his feet with a cap up. Uh, uh, sort Weston's of. not down yet. <laughs> yeah, he's sort of up. Both these guys. Sort of up is better than down. <laughs> Come on, Weston. Uh-oh, here we go. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh. Face to face. Face to face. Clubbing blow to the head. Oh. Shoulder tackle. Derek Crow rocked. Back elbow. Spinning heel kick. Ooh, he and an it. ass kick to the back of the head. That could be it for Derek Crow. Now if only Dan Tanner would count a pin. Two, three, four maybe. Count the pin. He only got the two. I mean, it is what it is. Because he refused to count to three. What is it about Dan Tanner? What does he have to gain by this? Whose pocket is benefiting Dan Tanner in this match? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, and Amicus now has Dan Tanner distracted. What Dan is Tanner this? doing nothing to stop it. Meanwhile, Rick Cartier now in the ring, old school. The plus size Terminator. Terminating David Weston. Jeez. Turned him inside out. And want to make up you to the fans. From Cardi on his way out, Dan Tanner now back involved with the match again, beginning a 10 count. Crow's the only one that seems to have a little life here. I imagine that, given that Dave Weston was just clotheslined in the next Tuesday. Derek Crow back to his feet. Weston, up to his feet, though staggering. Back to back, they find themselves. Oh, and again. Jump. Oh, he's got that arm oh, bar in deep. Oh, reverse arm bar, very deep. Oh, he's got that in deep. He's got no Where choice. Where does Weston have left to go? Tap, or you're going to lose your arm. Contort your body to reach for ropes or tap There it out. is. Dave Weston with nowhere left to go but to submit. He showed lots of heart. Yes, but it wasn't enough. Lots of for Mr. IWE. It certainly helps when you have a referee will, not willing to count for your opponent. I'd love to see how this would go in a straight one-on-one -on -one match. Hey man, Derek Crow is the man. Mr. IWE, 
player one getting it done again against David Weston. And he didn't even know that he was going to have this opponent, and he still got it done. So I'm excited to see what happens going forward. But I, playing with Derek Crow, I, I, man, I'm just saying, man. Wow! I offered you friendship, and you spat in my face, and you thought that you could outsmart me. Nobody can outsmart me because I'm player one, and I'm better than all of you. Show him player one. My goodness! Wow, that was amazing. That was awesome. Derek Crow telling it how it is. Gotta give it to the heart, though, of Dave Weston. Yeah, yeah I, he, he came out. He was brave enough to step out here, yeah, and defend get, and defend DJ Edwards when he's not yet able to fight. Yeah, a lot I'm not of heart for the kid. Yeah, I'm not gonna take anything away from Dave Weston. He had a good show in here, but Derek Crow is player one, Mr. IWE for a reason. Even without any preparation, he got it done tonight. That he did. Later on, coming on here, we've got Gladiator Championship action. Trevor Straw defends against Cody Leedy. Oh, that's gonna be amazing! I can't wait to see the Natural Born Killer do his thing gonna be a great match we'll have it all ready for you right here coming up soon on IWE, IWE Battlezone TV. Stick around. Lethal Laura Lee here with late breaking news. IWE returns to Houghton Lake on Saturday June 24th for our nine year anniversary extravaganza. Come celebrate nine years of imperial wrestling entertainment with your favorite and least favorite gladiators. Come cheer the good guys, do the bad guys, and be part of the fun. It happens at the Artesia Youth Park in Houghton Lake. Tickets are $10 at the door with kids 10 and under free. You get four shows for the price of one. Doors open at 530 and the show starts at 6. For more information, make sure to visit IWEGladiators.com. Oh, man. I see a bucket. I, I should have known from the first couple of notes that John the creature is going to be here. With Franken Bucket and John Campbell standing on his two feet. I didn't expect to see this last time. It wasn't too long ago when we saw Mr. Campbell in a wheelchair. Struggling to stand. Look at, the, look at the smile on his face just to be on his own two feet in front of the IWE crowd. Well, I guess we're going to hear what he's got to say today. Without a doubt, a fan favorite. Can't deny that. Fans are excited to see John Campbell. Without a doubt, it's been a while since we've been here and we're back and the fans are excited. You're upright. This is nice to see. So you, along with President Frankenbucket, have made an appearance here following your benefit show about four months ago. Any news on where we're going so far? Well, I know we're supposed to do interviews up here, but I think maybe you should follow me because I want to be amongst my people. So oh, jeez. Frankenbucket. And creature feature John Campbell bringing themselves down into the crowd. The amount of time that has passed since John Campbell was last able to do this. Now, <laughs> if you can just indulge me a little bit because it's been a long time since I've been the creature feature. You've seen me as John Campbell, and John Campbell and the Creature Feature, in many ways they're one and the same, but in some ways they're different. I'll tell you how we are one and the same. 
I wanted to be out here amongst you people because whether I'm the creature feature or whether I'm just regular old John Campbell, I have the greatest fans that surround me. Surround me, you pick me up when I get knocked down. Whether I'm feature feature or whether I'm just John Campbell, you lift me up, you bring me up into the stars, up into the stratosphere, and for that, I could never ever thank you enough. You've all walked me through this, yeah, brother. brother you people have walked me through this sport and almost for almost 20 years and in that time for almost 10 of them we've been doing IWE and before that man comes after me I just want to say bottom of my heart thank you very much May 19th, May 19th, I will have my second surgery on my hip. And after that time, after some physical therapy, you best believe not even that guy can keep me out of this ring. John Campbell will be because back. Because there is nothing, nothing that will stop me from entertaining you people. There is nothing that is going to stop me for showing you the love that I have toward you in that ring. But until then, until then, I need all of you to do me a big solid. I need you to go home. I need you to tell everybody just how much fun you're having here tonight. I need you to go home and I need you to spread the word because IWE is the place to be. We certainly hope that we see you all in the crowd here next time as Thank well. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope and you can all look me in the eye, and I will tell you this, and this is the God's honest truth. I hope each and every one of you knows just how much I care, just how much I love each and every one of you, because you people are the reason we're here. You people are the reason this exists. This does not exist without you. You are just as much a part of the IWE family as the wrestlers in the back. So let's continue Battle Zone TV and let's continue to show the entire world that Northern Michigan wrestles harder. Give it to me one time. IWE! Thank you very much. I love you all. There he goes again, giving away candy, and I'm good getting anything. And you wonder why I don't like this guy. Don't worry, if I catch anything, I'll be sure to pass you something. I can't have a lot of sweets anyway. Whatever. He's just handing out diabetes anyway. But John Campbell, you can't deny, is a fan favorite. And uh, yeah, you can't deny it, man. The kids love him, the fans love him, everybody loves him. A de dentists love him too, I hear. Gives it all that candy away. <laughs> John Campbell proudly striding and walking his way back up. And out of the arena for the time being. Well, so it. fantastic to see him back up on his two feet again, Scrappy. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't deny that. I mean, nobody wants, we don't want to see anybody hurt there, so. Coming right. up next, no, we have a match coming up here. 
Oh, I see Joe heading to the ring, so things are going to be a little bit different, I think, than what we're used to. Let's just go ahead and get there. Take her away, Joe. Who is this? Oh, what do we got here? Who is this guy? I don't know. Is this luchador number one? What, what entertainment nonsense does he got going on here? That's not even an IWE belt, brother. I mean, you get. I mean, it is a championship, but I will guard this belt. It's it's like an entertainment belt. That it's, it is. It's not even an IWE belt. It's incredibly, uh, it's like. Generic. When did he get that belt? Why does he even have a belt? Who is this guy? I I don't even understand. Like, I don't even get it. Generic is the word to describe. I, I just, I, I don't know. Well, we see Joe over here talking to him. He's, I don't know. Okay, let's see what this introduction. I don't know who he is. Let's see who this guy is. I don't have anything on notes. I, I, I have initials, and I don't know what it means. Like I C A W, and I don't know what anything refers to. All right. Well, he just flexing, and Joe's got nothing. So I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I know who that is though. Oh. With greater good in tow, it's the emulator. Draven O'Shawn's here at the emulator. And he looks like he's all about business. And he's got the crew with him, Stossel and Roberto Cruz. I don't know if this dude knows what he just stepped into the ring with. I mean, I don't even know who this guy is, Mr. Creator Wrestler, or whatever you want to call him. I, that works, C A W Creator Wrestler. But uh, that belt is not going to help you against Draven O'Shawn. Draven is, is that, not. I, I'm going to tell you something. The emulator is not a guy that you'd look at it, it, from a physical standpoint and think, but this guy is absolutely fearless. The, the emulator can match anything about his opponent he desires. And that's a scary thought right there. He can be his opponent if he so desires. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for. Your referee for this contest is Paul Powell. One new IWE referee, Paul Powell. Nice having him here. Welcome well, I can't IWE, believe sir. I'm about to say this garbage. <sighs> Introducing first. At seven feet tall and 500 pounds. What? I suppose if you look at the right angle. Oh, Jesus. I, I felt the impact. What's your name, guy? This is ridiculous. Introducing Create a Wrestler. Oh my gosh. How was I right? How could I that joke is, that and is, then be right? He's the creator wrestler. Oh my gosh. That explains the generic everything. Oh my gosh. Draven is gonna eat this. Look at the look on uh, Draven's, oh my goodness. The emulator's gonna eat no this dude alive. And the last thing he's gonna do is emulate this guy. And his opponent, hey, accompanied look, to the ring by the greater good. Look at the look Healing at this. from the infinite black skies. Weighing in at 145 pounds, the emulator, Draven O'Shawns! Oh, yes. Soak in the adulation, Draven. Feed off that energy, and I feel bad for Create a Wrestler. I was joking. I can't believe that's real. We're actually doing a Create a Character. He's about to get... This, this match is on... What is he doing? Oh, oh. my goodness. Draven, as if he needed to, went straight 
Went straight for the weak spot. Well, this won't take long. Oh, oh he's got that gnarly ankle, ankle lock. Wow. Oh, wow. That thing is sick. And Where's he's the, tapping. That did not Claire take long at tapping. all. Holy he's going cow. for the break. Jeez. Jeez. This match. The emulator, Draven O'Shawn. Not getting paid by the hour, that's a fact. Oh. Went straight for the kill to the emulator. Yeah. Wow. Not getting paid by the hour. My man handles business. And he's calling Joe over. And uh, oh my goodness. The emulator with some energy probably still built up, having not expended much. Oh, he's got a mic. He's ready to kill it. Let's see what he's got to say. After he put my man down like it wasn't nothing. Your, your man? I mean, so, your man, I guess. I don't know. You don't even know which way he's going. Show some respect to the executive producer of Battlezone TV. I mean, jeez. The way they treat Stossel is just deplorable. So, IWE sends out a literal nobody as a replacement for my opponent tonight, Rocky Shocker. That's disrespectful. Rocky Shocker decided that he didn't want to come to work today. Rocky Shocker decided that he was going to play sick. Yeah. Rocky Shocker's sick, all right. He's sick with anxiety. He's sick with fear. Because he knows exactly what I would have done to him had he gotten in this ring with me. Well, judging by what you did to that guy, holy cow. Last time Rocky Shocker and I had any type of interaction, I curb stomped his head into this mat and left him laying in a pool of his own tears. He didn't do that alone, though. Rocky, you can run, but you can't hide forever. You tell him. Understand this. Rocky, between you and me, we are just getting started. Oh, I love it. My man means business. What do you gain by focusing all of your efforts and energy on one other person in the locker room and uh, you have an entire roster you can prove yourself I, against? I love it. To prove yourself to the entire IW locker room and to all the fans that watch, what do you gain by focusing on one person just to break that rung of the ladder? Hey, man, I, I, to me, you go after everybody, man. And you, that you make everybody an example. That's how you do it. What do you gain by breaking one of the rungs of a ladder Crappy. All you do is make that ladder harder to climb yourself. I'm just saying, man. Sometimes uh, you got to do things the rough way. All right. We're getting ready for a championship match, guys. As promised, we Holy have championship cow. action coming up next. We've got uh, Mr. Uh, Cody Elidi going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the natural-born killer. This is going to be something special. Gladiator Championship is on the line next. Some say champions are born. We believe champions are forged in the fire of competition. I think you need a championship for in the ring or out. J. Dub Mills makes custom handmade championships for all occasions. Our customer friendly belt levels. J Dub Belts to provide quality products for any budget. For more information about us, our leather products, or to order your very own custom made championship belt, log on to www.jdubbelts.com. If Rocky Shocker can't be here himself, we at least have Cody Leedy. His tag team partner. And Haley Legal. You good? He's a, 
obviously excited here. We got Joe over there with Cody. Let's see what we got. Rocky Shocker sick this evening. But in his absence, you've got a Gladiator Championship match. What happens if you win to Harley Legal? That's a great question. Let me hear it again, home leg. I like hearing that energy. Let me feel that. Come on. He loves the sound of a roaring crowd. Let me tell you something about the Gladiator title, Jack. You, you like that I call you Jack? My name's Joe. All right, Joe. Joey Jack. Joey Jack, when it comes to the Gladiator title, you, you, I'm on the Mount Rush. I'm, I'm one of the originals. I have been here since day one. I have seen a lot of people come and go with the Gladiator title. And you know what? I'll admit it. Trevor Strahd, he's good. He's pretty good. He's the natural born killer. He's more than good. But the one thing, Trevor Strahd is arrogant and has no respect for that title, which is why it's going to give me great pleasure to take that Gladiator title here today. That it will. Cody Leedy hyping himself up for Gladiator Championship. Uh, can't deny his energy, that's for sure. I can't help but think that Rocky Shocker can only hope that Cody Leedy is able to pull out the win tonight. Bring that championship to Harley Legal. This is the man right here, the champ champ. IWE's gladiator champion, the natural born killer, Trevor Strahd. Oh, Strahd just, just left, and just left again. Ah, he's back, he ain't going nowhere. That's the champ champ, man, he ain't going nowhere. Trying to get a certain reaction from the crowd. Oh, he's got the reaction he wants from the crowd. Trevor. I'm not sure that that's right. See Cody pacing back and forth in the ring. Sure. I can't wait to see. So Trevor, what Trevor's you heard what your say. challenger has to say. Are you in any form worried about your reign as Gladiator Champion here tonight? <laughs> yeah, tell him. about my reign tonight as the undisputed IW Gladiator Champion, baby! That's what I said. Absolutely not. Have you seen all the names I've ran through here yet? Should I run it down for you? What? Campbell, done. Campbell, done! Braun, done! Who else have I put down, huh? Cartier! Done! It doesn't matter who's in that ring. I am the IWB Gladiator Champion. And that's not changing ever! Tell him, Trevor. Tell him. Trevor, with that look of in... Dignant. Incredible confidence. Gotta love this guy. I don't gotta love him, but I will give him all the credit that he has been a very formidable champion. He brings everything you can to the table. He's got a killer instinct. He's got aggression. He, he, he's technical. He, 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 he can get dirty and grimy. I mean, he does he, come by the name Natural Born Killer, quite everything. honestly. Oh, he lives up to that name, that moniker, without doubt. Cody Leedy's going to find out tonight. Without a doubt here in our main event of the evening. Cody Leedy taking on Trevor Strahd right now. IWE Gladiator Championship on the line. Take her away, Joe. The following contest is scheduled for, and it's for the IWE Gladiator Championship. 
Your referee for this contest is Dr. Ryan. Show sure, respect there from Cody Lee to the referee. Introducing first, the challenger, representing Haley Legal from the dojo, weighing in at 189 pounds, Cody Lee! Oh, the medal that's gonna play at their place if he wins this match tonight. And now, the champion, fighting out of Motor City, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is your IWE Gladiator Champion, the natural born killer, Trevor Strong! The crowd just giving it to Trevor Strong. Ain't none of them got it to come back in here, man. Wait till he, wait, wait, wait till he makes them cry as he puts it on their, their favorite Cody Leedy. But this should be a great matchup. A two uh, absolutely uh, amazing athletes here that IWE has offered. Should be a great main event. Look at that beautiful championship. Very beautiful. Absolutely. Where do you get a nice belt like that? Man, jdubbelts.com is the only place. The rocker Cody is, thrives off the, uh, the noise of a live crowd. Oh, and Cody asking for a handshake. Sure, respect to start off Glenn in a championship match. Oh. And the champion turns it down. And now, Cody Lee taking offense and going on the offense. Well, I sure, you know, I'm, I'm never for turning your back on your opponent, so that is not uh, something I'm used to seeing out of Trevor, but. Let's fly across body, body avalanche into the corner, onto the champion, and the challenger taking it and, to the natural born killer. And Cody come out of the box like a, 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 like a of house fire. of fire. Yeah, man, jeez Louise, a, a loss of words here. Trevor Strahd completely on the defensive and not able to Stop the offense just yet. Oh, right in the corner, just something nasty. Solid clothesline. Nowhere for Trevor Strahd to go. <laughs> Solid, tall suplex. Ah, smart move. Ring too. Smart move, smart move. The champion move. rolls out of the ring. Yep, regroup, regroup. Cody Lee's gotta do something about this though. If Trevor Strahd stays out of the ring and this ends in a count out, Cody Lee might win the match, but he won't win the championship. So Cody taking the fight to Trevor Strahd, not letting him get that distance and separation. Oh, oh no, the, oh no. And that was nasty. That's what I'm talking about. Trevor Stroud is a killer when he gets in there, man. He just doesn't play around. And, and the, Cody Leedy's gonna find out. Cody Leedy's head bounced right off of that, that ring post. Now rolled back into the ring and into the pin cover. Only finds a two count though. Cody Leedy is kicked out. Stiff elbow drop into the sternum and tries for another pin cover, does Trevor Strahd. Still only finds the two. Counting slow over here, counting slow. No, but that, he's gonna take more than that to put out Cody Lee, let's be real. Probably will. That chuck though, referee already running them low right away. That is not legal. I love that he'll take every second he's got to, uh, to break that hole. That way, uh, you know, he psychological and physical damage all in one shot. I love That's it. Right. Trevor Strahd must release such a hold before the count of five, as would any wrestler have to do so, or risk being disqualified. That is up to referee discretion, ultimately. It's worth noting that in the event of a disqualification, a championship won't change hands. The referee knows it too. Another vicious suplex here. Pin cover also only finds a two. Cody Leedy is not down yet. If he has his way, he won't be down out ever. In a few short minutes, we may be seeing Trevor Strahd's shoulders into the mat for a count of three. We may be seeing a new Gladiator champion right here tonight. Irish up out of the corner, out of the, the corner. 
Counter. Oh, a cartwheel kick into the belly. I've never seen anything like that. And he's going to follow it up no. with the... Bulldog out of the corner. Ooh. Into the pit of his own. One, two. Ooh. Yeah. Trevor Strong gets his shoulder up. Yeah, I mean, he is the champ for a reason. It's going to take a lot to get him down here. But that's, uh, that's a good start there for Mr. Leedy. Yep. Corey's not oh. stopping there. Oh, went for the senton. And he tried to stroll roll out of the way and give him a senton of his own. Into a pin. One, two. You see Cody, Cody Leedy kicks out at two. You can see him wiggling them fingers, man. He pinched a nerve, hurt a nerve there. He came down hard. He's trying to get some flow back in them digits. Some of his extremities must have fallen asleep in that impact. He's trying to wake him up. You're absolutely right. You fall on that lower back, that spine. That, that's the kind of reaction you get, you know? Tingly toes and fingers. Oh! Open palm shot to the chest. Love those. Backed into a corner. Vicious strikes. Cody Leedy though, with a double chop of his own. And another one. Cody Leedy is gonna chop down Trevor Strong no matter what it takes. Oh man, the Cody Leedy's head just bounced off the turnbuckle. After being bounced off the ring post earlier on, these could spell destruction for the Rockstar. But Trevor Strahd just missed with the avalanche into the Cody Breaker. The Cody Breaker right across the face. I mean, he hit it right on the jaw. But well, Cody's still a little too rocked to do something about it. Referee started the 10 count. Well, whoever gets to their feet first is going to have the upper hand here. This is crucial right here. It's a pivotal point in the match. Cody needs to get up and get going Neither if he wants a chance. Neither one of them even off their shoulders yet. Referee's up to a count of five. Dr. Ryan watching them both. Six. Trevor, Trevor Strahd up to all fours, crawling up. over. Maybe trying for a pin, but Cody's rolling away. Trevor, oh, repositions Cody. Oh, he's Trevor going up Trevor Strahd has some other plan. Oh, no. Oh, a misses wildly. Cody saw it coming. Come on, Cody. Get, shoulder tackle. The rocker is rocking now. Tackles all around. Unbelievable. And the crowd's right is behind him big time. Incoming. First shot takes down the champion. Here's your chance, leading. Here's your chance. Come you, on, Cody. You want to be champion, you need to finish him. In the pit. One, two. Oh. Strong still gets the shoulder up. I'm telling a little more work needs to be done yet. I'm telling you, man, that's a tough SOB in that ring. It's going to take a lot to he take that to belt off. He wants to bring that championship of. home. He wants to bring it home. To hell illegal. Be able uh, to show it to Rocky Shocker. Uh oh. High Three. risk. To the moonsault. Connects. Into the pen. One, two. Still though, I don't think Cody quite got all of the pin. He, I he didn't he get that whole moonsault. Just kind of came a little sideways on there. I'm not sure that Trevor didn't get maybe a knee up. I, I, it just both of them took a hit on that one. And I don't think Cody was quite able to get a hold of all the pin either. Went for the Cody breaker, but Trevor Strong countered into a clothesline. Beautiful show of strength. One, two. Oh. Josh barely with like a muscle twitch. I Does thought Cody he had Leedy him. Get I the thought, shoulder up. I thought he had him. And had Trevor Strong put a little bit more pressure into the pin, maybe that would have been it. That was some strength by uh, by the natural born killer to, to counter that 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 Cody breaker. Trevor Strong signaling this is it. Pulling down the straps, wants nothing in the way. And come out, but Cody! Cody counters it, leg trip. That drop toe hold, but he's just gassed. It's everything he's got to get into this hold, oh. but he's got him, oh my goodness. Stretching him out. has defeated so many opponents in Cody's path. Will this bring down the Gladiator Champion? Will this earn Cody Leedy the Gladiator Championship? Referee's there to see it. Is he gonna tap? He's oh, barely oh, but Barely uh, makes it to the ropes. Wow. Talk about stretching and reaching. My and goodness. By every little inch there. Oh by my goodness. Fingertip. Trevor Strahd was had to have been seconds away. But uh, Cody Leedy. Cody Leedy's now gotta he's gotta try. What? What's happening? There's something about the choke. Referee's checking on Trevor Strahd. See if he maybe if see if he can even continue the match. Maybe even trying to say that. Oh no! 
Uh, Trevor Strong is fine! Brilliant. Had the referee pulled away. Gosh. We wouldn't see the thumb of the eye. He's genius on top of it. Genius is not the word for it. It's desperate. Trevor Strong. He put him down. Trevor Strong knew he was beat. If he didn't do something dirty. That was amazing. The winner of this match. And still, IWA Gladiator Champion, the natural born killer, Trevor Trevor Strahd knows it. Had it. It being the key, the operative word. Had it. Trevor Strahd needed to find a way to cheat, to get the referee's attention away, to shove a thumb into the eye of Cody Leedy, and then a club to the back of the head when Cody's back was turned. Hey, man, that's what happens when you gotta have your head on a swivel, man. Anything can happen in a championship match, and that was one heck of a main event Absolutely for this right. episode of Battle Zone TV. Absolutely right that anything can happen in a championship match, and I will bet you money. I will put money on the table right now that one day down in the future we're gonna see Cody Leedy hold that belt up high. We're gonna see Trevor Strahd fall victim. Hey, that very well could be, but today, right here, right now, we got the champ, the natural born killer he's knocked off everybody there is in iwe i don't know who's next so we're, we're, i mean we'll find out uh, on another episode man we'll be back next week for We've the got... time being still champion is trevor strahd we'll see for how long that lasts thank you all for joining us on this episode of idbz battle zone tv please stay tuned we'll be back to see you next time right here have a good night <laughs>